speak for myself, like I watched the show when uh, it first came out. Uh, like when all the episodes were out on Hulu, I sat down and I binged it. So uh, I was really excited of the fact, number one, just to hear that they were doing a second season, but then to have been a part of it, uh, I was just incredibly excited. And yeah, honestly, I can't lie. I felt as, even as a fan of season one, I felt as though like we had a job to do. It was a little bit of pressure. Like we wanted to make sure that, you know, the same tone, the same format of the show that, you know, we continue to do that justice um, as we continue on. And I think that with this season, something that's so special is the fact that, you know, the difference between Kiara and um, Olivia's characters, you know, they were kind of separate, their worlds were separate, but Megan and Isabella's worlds are together. Same with Luke, like they're all in this together um, and they're really working together. And I think being able to see, you know, two female leads, especially coming together, not bickering, not hating each other, but just being friends and coming together to solve an actual issue um, is really beautiful to see on screen. The whole Y2K fashion and everything from that time was definitely coming back. And so seeing that it was going to be set in Y2K, I was like, Bet. Perfect. Amazing. Can't wait. It was definitely a process, you know, lots and lots of fittings, trying to find the perfect like Y2K outfits and then also the three different timelines. We have a big job to do because they need to be very distinct, very different, not only for the audience, but also for me. It's helpful for me as an actress to be able to differentiate these three different timelines. You know, what she's, what Megan is presenting on the outside reflects what's going on inside. So that was also really helpful, but also just really fun. I got to do like a third timeline look with the black eye makeup and the eyebrow piercing and the slicked back hair that I would never do normally. It was really cool to, to try that. For me, uh, I, I use music kind of as a crutch. Um, I made a playlist, uh, you know, that was tied to each area, you know, of Megan's life, you know, each timeline. Um, and so really, especially, before, like if, it, if it's a day where, you know, Sadie and I like we're at the top of the day and we're like giggling, laughing, like having the best time. And then I have to, you know, cry about her and about Luke. You know, I would just put on my headphones, you know, dim the lights in my trailer and just kind of enter that place. But I, I'm also really grateful of the fact that we had, you know, such a great team. Also just actors being able to bounce off of one another because I genuinely don't know I would have been able to really go through some of those scenes without these two because they, it was tough sometimes, but we got it done. <laughs> I mean, it, I think it was just such a collaborative process, um, you know, coming up with all the looks and stuff. And it definitely helps, you know, the fact that she's like this early 2000s, like it girl, like queen. But yeah, just being able to bounce ideas off of her and even just everyone else that, you know, was around during that time that knew what it was like to be a teen um, during that time. It, it was great. And I feel like Pinterest specifically was like such a crutch for me, at least like all the pictures of Jess and other, you know, girls during that time. Like it just, it gave me so much inspiration to immerse myself into that time period. Growing up, my parents, like, I'm, I'm kind of an old soul. So like 90s music was always kind of playing in my house. Gosh, the Cranberries, uh, Aaliyah is like a top one for me. You can't go wrong with Destiny's Child. Like there's just so many iconic people that before, you know, I filmed and then after, like they will forever be on my playlist. Yeah, I loved all of it, except what was the song that we did the, that you guys did the dance number two? Oh, the oh, Christmas party. Yeah, Christmas. Live in La Vida Loca. Live in La Vida Loca. Okay, yeah, I don't like that song. <laughs> yeah, that one, that one got old after we had to dance to it and sing to it. I'm fine with that, staying in 2000. That's cool. Oh gosh, that is really a great question. I'm, I'm thinking about timeline wise. I'm like, you know, what time, like what I want to see. I wouldn't want them to jump. Like I would want like 04, like, Oh five, you know, like in that time period, right? And maybe we set it in like a in like a city instead of like a small okay. town. We do like Love a city, like New York or something. You know what I mean? Just to like change it up a little bit. But the stakes have to be high too. So I, I have no idea what the mystery should be about. I mean, we have kidnapping, death. What's next? I have no idea. I would say they should make it like cartel. <laughs> <laughs> but teens, I imagine. Teen cartel in New York City. 